Hi, I'm adding this three minutes to my story because I'm hoping you will share it and help me get my message to Ellen about her relatable film on Netflix. Will you help me? If you succeed, I'm giving you free dream analysis forever. I promise you that. Hi, Ellen. I'm dream analyst Lainey Dolphin. Yesterday, I watched your terrific relatable. I am so moved by the dream you shared, I had to contact you directly because after 45 years of studying dreams, a few weeks ago, I took to social media with little 45 to 50 second videos I call dream tidbits to teach dream theory to a wider audience and how we can propel our problem solving if only we know what the heck we're trying to say to ourselves when we have the dream. Ellen, hearing you share your dream was for me a case of astonishing synchronicity because your dream is a stunning example of exactly the principles I have been discussing. So I'm here to explain and also to say thank you. New to social media, I'll begin with what I should have said in the first place about my videos, and that is that the dream is the conversation you are having with yourself about a very specific current situation in your life that you are attempting to problem solve. And the second theory your dream illustrates is how the dreams often provide a safe place for us to rehearse a response to a given situation, a behavior, or an action. We practice in the dreams, and when we're comfortable, we take the behavior out to our waking life. In your case, you described rehearsing the action to come out, and I love how you confirmed it for yourself when you answered the stay in your safe parts, part of yourself by saying, I don't belong here. A third principle you illustrate is how all the parts of the dream represent different aspects of the psyche. And you recognize the baby finch as part of you. Bravo, Ellen. I wish I could ask you to describe what associations you have concerning a finch in particular, because the metaphors we use are so precise and definitely not random. For example, I love your image of a multi-tiered cage. Why bamboo? Allow me to show you how personal and individual our use of metaphor is. You cannot look it up in a book. If that was my dream and the bamboo tiered cage is a direct link to my childhood because I always referred to rattan as bamboo when referring to our kitchen table or the basement furniture. So if I use bamboo in a dream, and especially if I couple it with a multi-tiered cage, I would be reminding myself of the feeling of powerlessness I had growing up and the layers with which that affected me. Finally, I am compelled and even consider it a life's mission to tell the wonderful news that not only are we problem solving in our dreams, but the solution to the issue appears in your dream before it gets to your conscious. And that's how you finished, with the solution. The window is open. You can fit through the bars. There's a way out. And you took it. So Ellen, thank you so much for sharing your dream. I would be honored to have the opportunity to be able to discuss it with you, the dreamer, directly. It is another of countless miraculous examples I have heard that compels me to spread the word about the wonderful thing that we wake up with every morning in your own bed.